Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing MX vs ATV Unleashed and tell you what, I've missed this game. I believe when I was a kid I played this on the PS2 but the footage you're seeing here has all been recorded on PC uh, as it's just easier for me that way. So for anyone not aware, uh, this game came out in 2005 and that's sort of why it resonates so much with me because it was just the perfect time for me to be a kid and uh, enjoy this game with my siblings and cousins and uh, I feel like I played this game with so many people uh, it was just the thing that you threw on when people came over. Um, it's just an absolutely fun game. Being someone who grew up riding ATVs, uh, I always tend to pick this class and it is a lot of fun. The AI is competitive too and you can scale the difficulty, which is a nice of a game of this era. No matter how far the series has come, I always come back to this game just to have a rip every now and then. It's uh, it's a lot of fun and, of course, very arcadey. There is a physics setting that you can change to pro. However, I honestly didn't notice any difference. And I'm sure the differences are there. However, they're very minor. I tried to showcase a few different vehicles in this video. Um, I didn't get to all of them. I believe I left out the helicopter and maybe a buggy, but um, yeah, there is so many vehicles in this game. Um, you can race different uh, engine sizes, of course, of uh, motocross bike. Then there's planes, helicopters, and um, golf carts, buggies, sand rails. It's, it's nuts, trophy trucks. Um, there is a lot of variety here and a lot to keep you entertained. There's plenty of customization when it comes to the rider as well. Um, although I'm not showing any of that here, there is plenty of options uh, to customize the rider. There are a few different camera angles. Um, as you can see here, we're showing off the first person view, which is okay. Uh, it's serviceable, but it's nothing fantastic. Um, and then of course, what I mainly use, which is the third person view.
graphics aren't anything to write home about, however the music in this game is awesome and unfortunately I can't play any, any for you, um, but if you do play the game I think you will agree the music selection that they made was absolutely perfect for the genre and the type of game that it is. They really give you the freedom to do whatever you want essentially after you've got the things unlocked. Um, like many of these older games there is cheat codes you can use uh, to unlock whatever you need if you just want to jump in and have a blast. Of course you can progress through the game and do it that way and unlock things. That's the way I did it and uh, I think that's the way that most people would have liked to enjoy the game back in the day and if you're going to revisit it I definitely recommend going through and uh, unlocking everything as you go. It's just a fun arcade racer and one that I wanted to revisit for a video. Let me know down below guys, did you play this game? Does it hold any nostalgia for you? I'm sure it does. Um, so many kids I knew growing up had this game. So yeah guys, a vintage banger from THQ this one, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and please subscribe. I'm working on more content, but I'm hoping to keep you guys entertained, and let me know what you want to see from me. Uh, I'm open to suggestions, but hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video real soon. Cheers guys.